An aberration is defined as an act deviating from the norm. Golf is an 18-hole test of nerves, approach and resolve, and it's a solitary journey. But when the opening tee box swells into a spectacular amphitheater, the stage of a tension-packed patriotic color war, silence is not always required. Add in camaraderie and family, constant communication and ever-changing strategy, and something very different is created. The Ryder Cup is the truest test of team golf in the world. In their last battle in 2012 at Medina, Team Europe rallied on the road from a seemingly irrecoverable deficit to dominate Sunday singles and bring the Ryder Cup back home. They now welcome Team USA to Scotland, the home of golf and Glen Eagles. For Team USA, these months leading into the 40th playing of the Ryder Cup matches have been humbling at times, but hopeful when you have only the third man ever to finish in the top five in all four majors in one season, when you have a two-time Masters champion, when you have Phil along with a hungry stable of young stars, you have a chance. Team USA also has Tom, a grinder and a champion. Tom Watson ironically guided the Americans to their last victory on foreign soil. He now lies a second moment of glory as captain. Watson is beloved by golf fans, Scots included. However, the warm welcome that he and his team will be greeted with across the pond includes the world's number one player and a two-time major champion in 2014, the US Open champion by an eight-stroke margin, and a group of battle-tested, confident, and united Europeans, most with exceptional playing records. And they want to keep the Ryder Cup in their possession. Yes, the Ryder Cup is an aberration in the world of golf, because over the course of three days, two teams will unify their efforts and nationalize their pursuit, where strategy consumes a captain's every thought, where teammates can hardly bear to watch, but cannot look away, where prayers are uttered under breath and held in riveted anticipation. Every moment is crucial, and every putt suffocatingly tense because when you inscribe a national flag next to your name, you're playing for a cause larger than yourself. The Ryder Cup is an aberration, and its 40th chapter, this time from Glen Eagle, Scotland, is upon us.